This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Draman and today we're gonna to be talking about the very highly anticipated sequel to Paul George's first signature model, which was the PG-1, the Nike PG-2. This photo leaked on the internet this past weekend and there were a lot of people saying, hey look, this is the PG-2, but then there were also a lot of people saying, no, that's not the PG-2 at all. And if you remember not too long ago, we talked about whatever this shoe is on this channel before and in that video, I said that I did think that this was indeed the PG-2, but today I'm coming at you saying I no longer believe that whatever this shoe is, I don't believe this is the PG-2. The main reason why I've had a change of heart is because the sneaker reporter on Instagram posted this saying this is not the Nike PG-2, can we put that rumor to sleep? Now you're probably wondering, well, who is the sneaker reporter and why should we trust him? Well, he's not only a very reliable source for like sneaker related things, but he's a journalist who's covering the Oklahoma City Thunder daily. So I'm pretty sure this guy has had conversations with Paul George like, yo, look, people think this is the PG2 and Paul George has probably told them off the record, yo, that's not the PG2. That's why the sneaker reporter is posting stuff like this on Instagram with no sources, he's just got some insider information because he is an insider with information. Now you're probably wondering like, okay, well, if this isn't the PG2, what is it? And honestly, I have no idea. It could be an Asia exclusive like we see with LeBron's ambassador line, but just with Paul George's name on it, or it could be a budget version of Paul George's signature model, much like how Kyrie is now getting a budget signature sneaker. And that's what we talked about in my last video. Kyrie is getting a sneaker priced at around $80. But Nike did announce that at their investor day meeting. So if Paul George was getting a budget line, wouldn't they also announce that he was getting one like they did with Kyrie at that event? I don't know, that just seems logical to me, but they obviously didn't, or if they did, that information hasn't come out yet. So if this is a budget Paul George signature shoe, how do you guys feel about that? That probably means that his main signature sneaker is gonna get a price hike, and how will that affect the people who love the PG-1? Are they gonna be willing to buy the PG-2 at a higher price point? I really don't think so, because the next thing we're gonna talk about is, well, what is the PG-2? Now, there hasn't been a lot of information on the actual PG-2 to be released yet, and really there hasn't been any leaks besides whatever this shoe is. But if you take a look at this new picture in an East Bay magazine, what is Paul George wearing in this photo? This might just be the actual real PG-2. Now initially I thought that this was just an old sneaker like the Zoom Run the One, but if you take a look at the medial midsole and the tongue, it's completely different from the Run the One. Then I took a look at Nike Basketball's entire catalog and I could not find a shoe that matched exactly whatever this is that Paul George is wearing in this photo. Initially I thought it was the Zoom Shift or whatever that's called, but upon closer inspection, it is not the Zoom Shift. So whatever Paul George is wearing in this is a new sneaker that I have not seen unless I'm missing something, but that could mean that this is the PG-2. And it's kind of hard to speculate based on this one photo that's at a really weird angle. You really don't get a good look at whatever he's wearing. But if this indeed is the PG-2, I'm not so sure that this warrants a price hike. It looks like to me that whatever Paul George is wearing here uses a lot of Fuse, and we all know that Fuse is pretty cheap and kind of a thing of the past. People don't want Fuse anymore. We want Flyknit, raw materials, and mesh. That's what we want. We don't want plastic Fuse. Whatever Paul George is wearing here, it looks like a lot of plastic. So there you guys go. I thought I'd let you know that these are probably not the PG-2s despite what you're hearing. I wanna know in the comment section below what you think these are and whether or not you think that these are the PG2s or not. Let me know all of that good stuff in the comment section. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. My name's Jaren, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. If you happen to be playing on a floor that's above average, the traction really does excel better than most. Unfortunately, pristine core conditions are about as rare as a quadruple double. Moving along to the cushion, the Air Jordan 32 just reminds us that Unlock Zoom Air is a real treat when it's done right. Unfortunately, it takes a long time to get to the point where you can actually start enjoying it.